All right, we're gonna fight Mary, or Mary, whatever. <laughs> I like the little. It, it even it's Mega Man even down to the little. I guess it's more of a Mega Man X thing, but it has the little intro things. Mary's great. She's a freaking alcoholic. Wait. No, I moved Comet. All right. Yeah, usually you prefer Comet. Liner is a little bit easier to use, but uh, Comet, it's stronger, and that's usually what matters. Because usually the bosses are what's going to kill you, not the uh, not the stages. So Liner helps more on the stages. Comet more on the bosses. Later on, we'll be able to upgrade both. Uh oh. I'm not used. To, so the way this game works is the difficulty matters a lot. A lot of a lot of enemies are slower or attack a little bit differently on lower difficulties, and I've been playing the game on um, what is it called? Expert difficulty on PC. Just to get used to it again. Frick. And um, and a lot of enemies act differently. They spawn a little bit slower, and it gives you a lot clearer path as long as you don't dawdle. So. Lunatic is kind of, if you want, you know, you want all, if you're all about the difficulty, Lunatic is what you want. Um, Expert is more like, it's hard enough, um, but, you know, nothing's going to really slow you down too much. And the other ones are, you know, more for, you know, you're not good at Mega Man games, so play these the first time you play through. Honestly, the one thing this game does really well um, this game is really quite accessible, and I'm really uh, glad for all they have. So, anytime, if say I started on expert difficulty, I can actually take it down. Um, okay. Oh, frick! Yeah, see, that guy is not a problem on lower difficulties, because he doesn't pop up fast enough to hit you. Um, and now he's probably ruined things. She's so good. But yeah, you can um, reduce difficulty at any time you want. You can't put it back up. I think if you're on very t times too easy, which is seriously the name of the lowest difficulty, you can kick it back up to casual. But uh, you can't go back to expert or lunatic mode after lowering the difficulty. But if you're having a hard time finishing the game, it's really nice that you can always kick down the difficulty and just beat it, uh, come back later with more of those post-game unlocks, like I said, and then things will be easier. This game also has a nice speedrun card. I'll show you that after I beat this level. I'll just let Mary... <laughs> I love that she falls asleep between sentences. She's so good. Look at her face. Don't 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 say yes if Mari offers you a drink. See. Voices are really good for what's a fairly budget um, indie game. This is this is indie, by the way. Um, it's by Inside System. Oh, hold on. Uh, probably set that on. Oh, I failed the thing. Okay, this is dangerous. So, yeah, I'll probably let her. So she's an interesting one. So she has this gravity thing, which moves things around. Um, an interesting thing this game does is bosses have the standard uh, Mega Man like crazy stun frames when you hit enemies with their weakness. Um, lunatic mode says nah. Lunatic mode says you better be able to actually fight this freaking boss because the stun frames uh, are shorter than their iframes. So you can still, um, oh frick, that was really close, um, you can still stun lock to a degree, like, they won't complete their attack. Ah, uh, I think they might have 
Hmm. If you do that perfectly, you can actually stun lock her as she's trying to cast Area Gravity. It does not work very often, but, um, or rather, at, at some point, she will start off her actual attacks. Wait, huh? I don't really understand how dodging that works, but the thing that's dangerous about her is that if you keep stun locking her like this, that's what's supposed to happen. Um, the spike balls do not clear. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. So that attack is pretty dangerous. So the spike balls don't clear, so you can actually have a full row at the top of spikes. And then if she does the wind up and you don't cancel her attack, you will have to take a hit. So yeah, that was obviously much easier because we had the weakness. Um, you can actually completely stun lock her until she does area gravity. Uh, Mary's actually really interesting because she does her final attack first in lunatic mode. Uh, none of the other bosses really do that. But usually she does that as her last, like, when her health goes red. Also, it's kind of performative, but bosses actually have, like, three times more health once they're in the red than it looks like. Like, the health bar goes down slower. It makes things a lot tenser, and uh, they also gain more iframes. So, it's not actually, you know, three-fourths of the way over. Um, now that we have area gravity, we can go fight Urken. Well, the characters in this series are really great. I got the... They had an... Oh, I forget where this was. I want to say, like, Butterfly Books or something? They had um, an art book, and it was only for the first game, but it was really good. Um, and I'm glad they don't throw away their characters, because, I mean, Mega Man boss stuff, you know, usually you don't... There's not much of a character there to regret losing. But uh, I'm really glad that this series doesn't throw away its characters. All of the major bosses, except for... Um, the last two, like all of the robot master quote-unquote bosses um, came over into this game in some form or another. Uh, some are bosses, some just help you out. Um, and they actually made another game. It's not called the Dark Witch game, but it's um, uh, it's like Brave something. Uh, it's an actual RPG with the Dark Witch characters, ow. Um, And they have this nice little... They have a lot of nice flavor in the game. So, like, they have these little animal people that are called... I think they call like, jackals or something. Um, even though they're clearly cat-like. Um, there's the fairies. Music's really good here, by the way. But yeah, um, lots of really great stuff. I really like this series, and I'm really glad that it seems quite successful because, uh, you know, it's got three games to its name now. Oh, frick, I forgot about that guy. Um, there's some enemies. Uh, the enemies are really well designed. There's a lot of, like, uh-oh, keep you from going forward enemies, but there's a lot of stuff that you'll only notice if you slow down. Like, certain areas will punish you a lot if you slow down and you don't know what you're doing. Like, these guys. That's pretty much the whole reason those are there. Oh, another nice feature about this game, I forgot about it because I didn't look at it, but uh, or because I'm already all set up. This game has a ton of options, and they're really useful. Like, it'll let you check if you have, um, if you've completed the, like, there's an achievement for each boss. It's usually just don't take a hit and beat them. So this will show a star if you are still completing the, the, you know, if you're still valid for that achievement, and it'll gray out if you're not. So that's a nice little thing. Um, speed only. These are like challenge run things. Uh, damage and death total level of glutinated damage. I don't know why you'd need to know that. I, I mean, you know, if you're just curious, I guess. Um, you can change your dash settings. I'm not sure why that's its own menu. Um, one really th nice thing about the ma the voice, or the sound settings. Notice something different? Yeah, I really don't like games when, like, you talk every time you do stuff. So... You just set the player voice to zero, and you still talk in bosses. That's still... I think that's conversation voice. Um, so all of the stuff, except for your... You know, you still talk in dialogue scenes, which is nice. Um, you can change the camera. I really love the camera settings. So a lot of games... Um, like, it's basically... The way I have it... Um, oh, this is one of those things that I can't really get, because I can't jump that high. Um, if I had that assist block thing, I'd be able to get up there. 
In fact, I don't think Zizo can get up there without any kind of help. Uh oh. Oh, that. Oh, never mind. Took a hit anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, a camera. So, some people like a camera that stays in the middle. I like a camera that kind of faces where you're going and gives you lots of space. You can adjust how much space the camera will give you. Um, wait, is the camera? I think the camera's on fast, right? Camera speed. Larger the number, the slower the camera, yeah. I do think the camera could be a little bit faster, but you usually just go right. There's fairly little backtracking in this game. Um, unless you're, you know, hunting for the uh, pure Sega. Oop. Speaking of backtracking, one, one complaint I do have, the game is fairly horizontal. There's not much linear or verticality going on. Um, oop. And, um, you know, there's some bits like that, but you won't see, like, those huge shafts that uh, lots of early Mega Man games have. And part of the reason games like NES games would have purely vertical things is because scrolling in one direction was much, much, much easier on the NES. Like, scrolling used to be an incredible, like, difficult thing. Like, um, when the id team, you know, id games, uh, Doom, they got smooth scrolling working. Like, they got smooth scrolling working on PC, and it was like a revelation, and they like, pitched the game to Nintendo, cause like, wow, we can make your game on a PC, it's like, you know, a PC as strong as a console, Who, who'd have thunk it? And yeah, it was pretty important stuff, or it was like, it was pretty impressive stuff. So, you know, vertical scrolling was partly just because it was e a lot easier to either just have only scroll left, right, or only scroll up, down. So that's why things, you know, cramped and straight up and down. Anyway, another boss here. Correct. Look at her face. There's so many good faces in this game. If there's one thing I like, it's a game with good faces. Like Wind Waker, very good faces. Most most Zelda games, not really even impressive faces. Wind Waker, very good. <laughs> Look at her face! See? Good faces! Look at the little- Oh, I love that little twinge or whatever at the end of that one eyebrow. Oop. So, uh oh. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, frick! I forgot! <laughs> Okay, so, yes, that is what I want. I'm not used to the menuing, um, oops, obviously not used to the menuing on PC yet. I've only beaten the game once on PC so far. I probably should have played a little bit more, but uh, I figured I could do at least a couple bosses. See, so, yeah, she is completely stunlocked and takes three hits for each one of these in non-lunatic mode. You can stun lock her if you put those at the right distance, like I did briefly there. Ah, frick. So now I kind of gotta wait for my energy. Um, she is kind of easy to dodge because she... Her leap, for some reason, does not deal damage. Um, now that she's yellow, she can potentially use an attack that will interrupt this pattern. Uh, it's a lot more likely once she's in red, though. Uh-oh! Frick. Still dangerous, though. Ow. How did I take damage? Or, or I guess yeah, the fire kind of plumes up. See, I guess speedrun strats would be something like this, but I don't quite have enough energy for that. Or not enough to keep it up anyway. Ugh. 
Yeah, this is another boss that really shows the difference between difficulties because um, she, at like very two times easy, she'll only have like one burst of fire when she lands. But she, uh, uh oh. Yeah, when she does that charge, that's something dangerous, and I really want to cancel that. Which is somehow easier to cancel than the other ones. Because yeah, if she does that, she will do like a rolling attack. Uh oh. That I can't dodge. Well, I, I can jump over. But I can't just, you know, cheese out of like I'm cheesing out of everything else. Yeah, there he is. Ow. So timing half, as you might expect, slows everything down. Uh oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> so your revenge skill lets you do a good amount of damage. No. Ah, so frick. So she has a really good ability to counter her own weakness, which is very lucky as far as the bosses go. Because um, the attack that we use for her is so slow, and when she uses timing half, um, yeah, it's pretty awkward for me to try to deal damage. But fortunately, there we go. Timing half is a really good ability. Um, it's probably the best general purpose one. But it's pretty expensive. It uses, like, I think a fourth of your bar or so. There's one that uses almost your entire bar uh, that protects you. Or time division, I guess it's actually called. Timing half is what she calls it. Lots of really good music in this game, by the way. This stage select music takes a bit to get going, but it's actually really great. If you get this game, I really do recommend picking up the soundtrack. Or maybe just, there's a bundle that has the first game and both soundtracks. And this game, obviously. Um, I really recommend just kind of picking that one up because uh, it's a fairly good discount and uh, the music's really freaking good. It's so good that I bought the uh, mobile rhythm game of this thing and I don't like mobile games or rhythm games. And I I beat all of the, I beat the game on easy, but that's about it. And I haven't unlocked, I think I unlocked like one costume and that's it. Yeah, we still want more Trez. Eventually we'll be able to get another life and some attack. Um, stock is pretty important. That's more lives and you get more Trez to start with, which isn't a huge deal. But uh, um, Every time you take a hit in this game, you lose some of that meter at the bottom. Um, it doesn't really matter on the lowest difficulties, but it's an extreme thing on uh, Lunatic. To beat Lunatic my first time... Um, might not seem too hard right now, but you know, I played this game a ton, like I said. To feed it for my first time, I upgraded almost all of these, um, like at least to level 5 or more. Um, I uploaded, I upgraded all of these, which by the way, we're gonna do. Um, oh, ran out of Sega. Um, and I upgraded a bunch of these as well, just trying to find out what to do. Um, just because the boss rush is that hard, you really have to be able to beat all of them without taking much damage at all. You know, ideally zero damage per boss. You know, there's a couple that you might take a hit on. Uh, Clinzy, um, we're gonna be saving her for last because she could really be a beast. And um, I usually use timing division to sort of make some of their patterns easier. Clinzy actually gets harder if you do that, <laughs> which is really kind of funny. It's not even intended. Um, she just, her attacks just bunch up so much because it's slow that it becomes actually impossible to dodge certain patterns and just just don't use that on her um but yeah this is legend of dark witch 2 and next time um who will we fight uh probably rudy she's she has kind of embarrassing weakness we'll, we'll show that next time